Good evening. Good evening. My name is Albert Abrams, and I'm the Chief of Staff here at North Georgia State College. And it's my pleasure each year to serve as moderator for this dinner. And I say every year that we host hundreds of functions and events in this building every year. And the two that we enjoy most are the Bill County Star Student Recognition Dinner and the Regional Star Student Recognition Dinner. My president is going to speak to you in just a few minutes. We were having a conversation earlier this evening, and he wanted to know who was the speaker, if I was the speaker. I said, no. We have real good speakers. We have stars that will be speaking this evening, the students and the teachers. So with that, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the Regional Dinner, and I'd like to introduce some special guests that we have here in the audience this afternoon before calling on Dr. Blake. Angela Garrett is here representing Paige. Um, she's involved with the leadership program. Angel Presley, membership services. Donna Brown, who's on the board of Paige, representing Bibb County. And uh, Dr. Carolyn Williams, who's the RISA director, uh, Mill George RISA. And Dr. Steve Maletto, who's with a part of Georgia RISA down in Eastman, correct. Uh, with that, we've been hosting this program for a number of years. Uh, I guess, Lee, when we started, it was Macon State College, mm -hmm. and then we went through a consolidation and we became Middle Georgia State College, and that's what we're hosting you as this year. And I'm going to ask my president to tell you who will be next year when you come back. <laughs> so with that, let me introduce to you Dr. Christopher Bright Blake. President of Georgia Georgia State College, Dr. Blake. Thank you, Albert. Good evening. Uh, welcome to the Macon campus of Middle Georgia State College. And because this is a staff-studded room, uh, I hope that a few of you observed the banner on the way in that said Middle Georgia State University. Uh, we're proud that next year when we host you, uh, you will be coming to the State University, the campus here in Macon, of what last week we learned was a, a wonderful testimony to learning and to the traditions of learning, which is what we're celebrating here this evening. Uh, because we indeed will start the new academic year in July as a university. And uh, I'm pleased to be able to, this is the first public occasion other than on campus, the first public occasion I've had to share that good news. So um, we're delighted that you're here uh, for the last time as a college and next year as a university. Um, now, I, I do uh, know that I stand between you and dinner, and that's not a great place to be standing. Uh, so I will keep my uh, welcome and my comments uh, short. But I want to uh, speak from the heart as an educator. Um, I'm very humbled and privileged to be a college president, but I began my career as a high school teacher in the UK, and I still see myself as a teacher and an educator. And there are a few things I've learned about it which I think you bring testimony powerfully to. The first thing, and you can see it in the people that are here this evening, we're here to celebrate the achievements of the learning of young people, but it is very fitting that we also have the community represented through the Chamber of Commerce. We have the, the Professional Association of Georgia Educators representing a profession, a group of adults who are striving to create learning in a stronger way. We have the teachers, the faculty, who each day, each day are dealing with extraordinary demands and yet also are dedicated to the advancement and the progress of their students. And then we have the students here with their families, with their loved ones, with their friends, with their parents, who in truth are the people that we put our hopes on, but we know that it is a team effort. There is, in our um, seal, which is in front of me on this podium down there, our seal has a torch in the middle. And actually, you, it, when you walk out, you'll see our new logo has that torch much more clearly emphasized. Um, it, it's, it's chosen intentionally. It says that learning brings light. It brings light. It shows us the way, the path. It illuminates our world. It brings insight. It brings vision. It brings a way of understanding. And the symbol of light is a powerful way of doing that. 
But the other piece about it, which I think in this room is testimony, is a quote that I used in this room when we became a university last week. And it's a quote from 2,000 years ago from one of the greatest minds in the founding of Western civilization, Plato, the philosopher Plato, who said, those who have torches will pass them on. It's a simple quote. It's actually very brief, and you would think philosophers would write a lot more and a lot more words than that. Those who have torches will pass them on. Uh, what he meant by that was quite simply, that if you have light, you share it. It doesn't belong to you. You don't hoard it. You don't retain it for your own advancement alone, for your own well-being. Yes, your well-being is important. Yes, your growth on this life, in this life is important. Yes, the work and the development you do in the human family is important, but it's only important because you do it in community, because you empower others, you enlighten not only yourself but others too. That we are a community of scholars, a community of scholars. That phrase has to stay together, a community of scholars. So to the students here this evening, in a way, I love the idea that you're competing to be selected, but actually, I'm going to say this to, I don't know who the winner is, but I want to say this to the winner so that whoever goes out knows that there's also a little bit of modesty and, and meekness in there. You're all winners. We're all dependent on one another. No one really is better or worse. We need one another. We need one another in the way that we live and work and learn. So the students, you are excellent. You are here because of the excellence of your learning. But you know that you're only here because of the people at that table around you. So the faculty, I applaud the work you do. There is no, no more noble calling than teaching. There is no, no more noble calling than teaching. So the parents, I know the heartache, the love, the hopes, the frustrations. I have two sons. They are both at college. I've been in that place where you wonder if they'll ever get to college. But you are the ones that provide that network and that support. And I thank you for what you do, because you are creating as much a community. You are passing on the torch. And in the end, it's a torch that leads to a future, a brighter future. And we need it. We live in a world of darkness. We live in a world of fear. And we live in a world of ignorance. Tonight, we celebrate people who are working together to overcome those. I wish you a wonderful evening. I thank you for being here. I know my remarks have gone on longer and everyone's stomach is now ready for dinner, but I do wish you a great evening and I congratulate each and every one of you that goes from this regional uh, contest to the state level. It's nice to have you here. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Before dinner, let me introduce some of my colleagues who are in attendance tonight from Middle Georgia State. We have Dr. Martha Dan, who's the provost. <laughs> Dr. David Fuller, who is the dean, uh, chair, dean of the School of Education. <laughs> and Dickie Luther, who is Dr. Dickie Luther, who's a, a faculty member in the School of Education. <laughs> we get inspired at these type of events, and that. When we held the Bill Cannon dinner two or three weeks ago, Dr. Dean said we really should bring some of our School of Education students to this event so they can see how they can inspire students. So we did. We extended that invitation, and we have one of our students saying good morning tonight. Welcome. <laughs> so with that, please enjoy your dinner, and the program will start shortly after dinner. Thank you.
as I survey the room, I think most folks are on, on, on dessert. Uh, we do have coffee available. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your dinner. It's provided by Aramark, our food service provider here at Middle Georgia State College. Let me tell you a little bit about what happens after tonight and a little bit about the PAGE Association and their involvement with the STAR program. The Professional Association of Georgia Educators, or PAGE, Foundation is proud to have been invited 20 years ago by the Georgia Chamber of Commerce to be responsible for the oversight, administration, and promotion of the PAGE Student Teacher Achievement Recognition, or STAR program. The PAGE STAR program is now in its 57th year and has honored more than 25,000 STAR students and their STAR teachers. The awards presented today are sponsored as follows. Each System STAR student and System STAR teacher will receive a special System winner picture frame from the PAGE Foundation. Each regional winner will receive a plaque from the PAGE Foundation. At the conclusion of today's program, there will be an announcement of the names of the region winners who are going to compete for the honor of being named State Page Star Student and State Page Star Teacher in Atlanta on April the 27th. The regional star student will receive a $500 cash award provided equally by the Price Gilbert Jr. Charitable Fund and the Page Foundation. And the regional star teacher will receive a $200 cash award provided by the Georgia Chamber of Commerce, co-sponsor of this statewide program. Also, we'd like to recognize our sponsors who, for this evening's dinner. You'll see them on the screen. Butler Automotive Group, Central Georgia Technical College, Georgia Power and Navison Health. And we're proudly hosted by Middle Georgia State College and the Greater Macon Chamber of Commerce. And representing the chamber tonight, we have its president and CEO, Mr. Mike Dyer, who will have some comments towards the end of the program and Ms. Lynn Farmer that has communicated with many of you over the years who coordinates the Star Student Recognition Dinner. One thing that you're going to get tonight, you're going to get a professional photograph to go into the frame that you're being given by the Page Foundation. So when you exit the stage, we'd like you to go here to this black bike drop, and we have a photographer there who will take your picture, and we will email those to you at some time in the very, very near future. So, I think we're ready to get started. Now, you received instructions from Paige. Students, correct? Correct? Yes, sir. Come on, now get into it, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, and you know what you're supposed to do. But I've been doing this for so many years that I tend to take liberties as the master of ceremony. What we'd like for you to do, in addition to what they've asked you to do, is to tell us where you plan to attend college, what you plan to major in, and what career you're looking at for the future. Okay? And then introduce your star teacher in whatever way you deem appropriate. Okay? But keep one thing in mind. That after you finish your remarks, your, I'm going to give your star teacher <coughs> an opportunity to say something about you. And over the course of the years, we've had some interesting introduction. Some serious, some not so serious. So in whatever you see, in, in whatever way you deem appropriate, we want you to introduce your star teacher. Now, I'm going to call the student, I'm going to call the county, and uh, Paige is going to have a representative here on stage that's going to assist in passing out the plaques. So have I missed anything? Gail? Okay. Gail, would you join me on stage, please? In fact, Gail's going to talk to you. Do you want to say something else about the PAGE program? Okay. Good evening. On behalf of um, Dr. Ali McGill, our executive director, who at the last minute could not be with us, and our wonderful PAGE organization, and we have 86,000 plus members, I welcome you. This is going to be a great night. This is one of my favorite events that we sponsor. We go all over the state honoring our stars. 
and we have 12 regions. So the other night we went from Rome to Statesboro. And that was quite a way. <coughs> We've been to Valdosta, been to Columbus, and this is always a very favorite event of mine. Lynn Farmer and the Chamber and all your local sponsors do a wonderful job, and we thank you. We're here to celebrate excellence in education. And you star students have worked hard, and you deserve to be recognized. And you star teachers, no other time than now is it good to have a little attention, a little recognition. It's a tough job to teach now, and we thank you for all you do. I've always told teachers, that you never know where your influence ends. So we want to look at you tonight and recognize you and thank you for all that you've done. So it's a good night. It's a night you can sit back and celebrate. I'm glad you're here and I know you're going to enjoy this event. So it's going to be good and refreshing. You'll leave here refreshed and sort of revitalized to know that we're in good hands. These kids are so smart. Tomorrow they'll be our leaders. So we're okay. Thank you again for being here. First up, Baldwin County. Baldwin High School, the star student is Morgan Pendergast. Morgan? I'm supposed to have some certificates or? We're going to get here. Oh, okay, okay. So more, I will get that you have the microphone. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, I am very fortunate in going first because hopefully by the time this night is over, you will have forgotten what I am about to say. <laughs> um, um, I'm very honored to have been awarded this. Um, I think it's really great that you guys are recognizing students and of course our teachers because I think that what you guys do is really great. Um.